Good day friends, it is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another Tinkercad tutorial. So let's get cracking. Friends, today we are gonna make an Easter bunny in minutes. This was shared by one of my friends, Larry. Let me show you how to create it. Friends, we are gonna make this entire bunny in just a few minutes, and it's gonna be totally with spheres. Check this out. Bring out a sphere. I'm gonna let you stretch it to any size you want to make the belly. Set that back behind, make it as wide as you want, have fun. You can see my numbers were 33 and 53, but you can fiddle with these as much as you want. Now I'm gonna set that aside and I'm gonna make a head by doing Control D and I'm going to Shift Squeeze to make it quite a bit smaller. That will be my bunny's head. Once again, you can adjust, tweak, and get it to the exact sizes you think look cool for your bunny's head. If we zoom in on this, I'm going to do F to fit view, so we're nice and close. We're going to click on the nudge and switch to 0.25, and we're going to make this mouth and nose combination. We're going to make them down here on the ground, so simply bring in a sphere. I'm going to tell you to shift squeeze it so it's quite small. I'm going to tell you to make it so that it's thinner than it is long. And then we're going to do Control D to make two of them. Notice if you move your arrow keys, you can move it across so that you get that shape right there. When you're happy with it, take those two, do Control G to group them. So they are now one piece. We're going to bring out another sphere. We're going to shift squeeze it down so it's super small. We can select all of them, do L for a line, and we're going to choose middle from the center middle from the side, and we want it to come to the top. Notice this is that nose, but now we can click on it and do control up and bring it a little bit forward and then adjust our measurements so that it looks exactly like you want. I'm gonna pick fun colors. I'm gonna give it a little bit of a pink nose. I'm gonna make the front of its face a tan. And then I'm gonna do control D and do D to drop. And notice when you nudge it forward, you get the cute little bunny mouth. I'm going to make that a red. I think I'm actually going to use that red. Or maybe we could make it white so that it looked like a tooth. Bingo. You have got the front of your bunny's face. You can now select those pieces and do Control G to group them. Notice they will probably turn to one color. So we simply move over here and we switch to multicolor. Let's real quickly make our eyes as well. Once again, spheres. Bring it in, squish it way down to a size that you think looks like an eye, then make it really flat. Of course, we want to make it white so that it looks like an eye. I'm going to make it even flatter so I'm getting down close to size one. And then I'm going to bring out another sphere. This time I'm going to shift squeeze it so it stays like a circle. I'm going to make it black so it's the inside of the eyeball. Let's move them close together, select them, and do L for a line. And from the corner, you can easily see we want center and center. You zoom in on it, you can get a good look at it. Notice with our 0.25 nudge, we can make that white one a little lower. And we can get them exactly how we want them to look. When you're happy with your eye, select the two of them and do Control G to group. Of course, after it groups, it'll probably be all white, which you can fix by just hitting multicolor. Now let's real quickly make our ears. Once again, it is going to be a sphere. We will shift squeeze to make this super small. This time I'm going to go down to size four, but then I'm going to stretch it really tall like a bunny ear. And then we're going to do control D and we're going to use the arrow keys to nudge it out, make it a hole and then rotate it towards us a few degrees. So once again, I'm looking for this. There's my few degrees forward. And if you select the two of them and do Control G, bingo, you have got your bunny ear just like that. You can always click on it and adjust it if you want it to be a little bit different. Notice you just change the hole, and when you let it regroup, it comes back together. If you wanna pull it towards yourself a little bit, you can as well. Lots of fun to be had there. I am going to choose one of those brown colors for my bunny ear. And we're ready to assemble our bunny. I am going to just bring this close. 
lift the head up and use my arrow keys to push it back. When I'm happy, I can adjust it with the arrow keys. If you want to give it a neck, you can do Control-D. I'm going to Shift-Nudge to move this down. And then we can just get that in place and then do Shift-Squeeze to get that at the exact size you want. You can adjust it however you want it. If you want to turn the neck, you can have all kinds of fun making that look exactly as you like. I'm also going to make him brown. I'm going to give him a different color brown neck. I'm going to give him the brown head. Friends, now it's time to add eyes. Do control D so you have two of these. I'm going to do shift nudge to move it across. Click on one and hit C for cruising and cruise your eye up on the face where you want it. While you've got the living work plane, you can do control down arrow to sink it in and get it exactly how you want. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. C for cruising and bingo, two adorable eyes. Control down arrow to sink it in just a little bit. I'm going to show you something real quick. This one cannot be cruised. See this red piece that's on top? If we do C for cruising, it lands on the front, so it has to be rotated 90 degrees. So there's your face like that. It's probably easier. I'm going to do Control Z to just move this over and lift it up to the place you want and then use the arrow keys to push that out. I'm going to do Control Down. Notice you can double click on this and we can click on the different pieces. Notice now I'm on the white one and the pink one. You can bring those out towards you a little more. You can also click on the brown ones and you can push them back if you find that it's poking out too far when you put it together. So this pink box lets us edit until we've got them exactly the way we want. When I click and let go, it becomes permanent. And then you can do your control up and control down to get the face right where you want. Let's see if cruise works for the bunny ears. Yes, it does. There is bunny ear number one. I'm going to put it right in the middle so that it's aiming the way I want. Now I can use the arrow keys to adjust it to the side to do control down arrow. And this also lets my rotate look the way I want. Once I'm done, I'm going to click on this one and do control D. And then I'm going to shift nudge it to the other side. And I can use rotate to get it oriented just the way I want. Notice you can twist them and have all sorts of fun as you get the awesome bunny look that you want. I want to make this little guy so he's 3D printable. So right now I'm going to grab all of the head and I'm going to tilt it a few degrees back. So right there's 15 degrees. What that does is it makes this so when it prints up, it's got enough angle that those parts print absolutely fine without supports. We are going to quickly build our legs with spheres. Once again, squeeze them down to the size you think is cool. Notice front legs are skinny like this. And then just move it into place. Lift it up where you want. Give it a few rotations. I'm going to control up to raise that just a little more. And then I'm going to do control D. Move it out. And D to drop. And this will be the front foot. You can adjust those as much as you want. I do want you to see I'm putting it below zero. I'll explain that in just a minute. And then I'm going to take this leg and do control D and move it to the other side. But on this side, I can modify it just a little bit so that it looks totally different. Change your angles. Give it a tiny squish. Adjust it just so it looks a little bit different. Whatever you want. Once again, making sure a little bit is sticking underneath. I'm going to quickly look at my bunny from the flat view. Let's click on the top view. This makes it real easy to grab the entire bunny and move them out away from the other bunnies. Now I can switch back to perspective view and let's add the legs. Once again, we are using a sphere. Just bring it into place. Do control D, bring that out. I'm going to shift squeeze and I'm going to push it below zero and flatten it out. We want to put those on the other side. Let's do that quickly by doing hide and then select, and then control D, shift nudge to the other side, and of course, flip them. Now when we do show all, we can bring them back, 
And if we look at them from this side, they are pretty cool. We can nudge them to the exact spot we want. Maybe give them a twist and a nudge, make them a little different, just because that makes it a little bit more fun. And of course, let's get our colors. I'm going to quickly just grab that whole bottom, and I'm going to make it all the light brown. By clicking twice, and then I need to add a final bunny tail. Once again, just going to bring out a sphere, shift squeeze, move it into place, and I'm going to make that white. When I lift it up, I want it to be halfway up. And then the other thing we want to make sure, and it comes out and goes up. If you've got it down here, it'll be harder to print. You'd have to add supports. If you raise it up just a little bit, it will print all the way around without any troubles. Of course, you can customize it so it looks exactly the way you want. And then for 3D printing, we're going to cut this off nice and flat. Here's the way we do it. Since this is 20, I'm going to push it down negative 20 so it's completely below zero. And now let's go to that orthographic view. And we want to look at it from the top. And we want to make sure that this box is the exact size as our bunny. We don't need to select all the top stuff. So I'm going to look at it from the left. And I do want to select everything that's down below and do control G to group. Now you have got a 3D printable bunny all set up the exact way you want and you can have fun adjusting this little guy till your heart's content. Friends, of course, I wanna thank Larry for the awesome project and I'm gonna leave you all with the challenge. I gave you the sitting bunny. See if you can find out the standing and the prancing bunny. Have fun and if you make something awesome, you can 3D print these, but don't forget you can also just share them. I always like to switch to settings, pick a good color. Let's go with a pink Easter color. And then if we shut off the grid, it gives a much cooler view of our little bunnies. Finally, when you're done with that, return to the Tinkercad dashboard. And you can share your project with the world by simply clicking properties. Of course, give it a name. And you can tell people about your design in the description. Mine, of course, says tutorial coming soon. It has a link to the HLMT 23 shares and, of course, other ways you can reach me. Of course, fill out your tags. And, friends, I want to remind you, if you ever add the tag HLMT 23 to anything you create, I check that tag almost every day. And, of course, I will give you a reaction. Finally, make sure you set it to public. And then I always choose attribution, no derivatives, because I want you to come up here, follow that tutorial, and gain some epic skills. Lastly, prove you're not a robot, and hit save changes. After just a few moments, if you click on the gallery, initially you'll see all the awesome staff picks. Of course, make sure you check them out if you spot one of mine. Don't forget there is likely a tutorial. If not, you can check the images to see other fun projects that I'm featuring. And of course, those reactions are always appreciated. Of course, though, my favorite is when we click back here and shut off staff picks. After just a moment, your design will be there for the world to see. And of course, you can get reactions. Of course, if you want to tell Larry thank you, here is his tag in Tinkercad. I'll make sure there's a link in the properties. Of course, you can check out his amazing creations and give him reactions too. As I wrap up, I want to say thanks for following along. And of course, have a glorious day and keep tinkering. Friends, as I wrap up, I just want to remind you about my website, hlmodtech.com. I've got a tab dedicated to Tinkercad with tons of awesome categories. And then below that, you can find my day one favorites and also useful starters. And then finally, the Tinkercad essentials. Friends, also at the bottom corner, I want to share the sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. Lastly, friends, don't forget the Tinkercad Community Discord. As you can see, we've got more than 700 members, and it is a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. 
finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, friends, don't forget you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.